I'm Anil Kumar. I've taken few trigonometric identities with given conditions. These are all multiple choice questions and I hope they'll help you in your uh, test. The question here is, a cos x minus b sin x is equal to c, then a sin x plus b cos x is equal to what? We are given four different choices. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now when you see the choices with kind of squares, it gives you an idea that let's add these squares. So we'll just try it how to find. So we have a cos x minus b sin x. We'll square this term and add with the square of the other term which is a sin x plus b cos x. So if I square and add, what do I get? a square minus 2ab plus b squares. That gives me a square cos square x minus 2 times ab sin x cos x and, here, and then square of b and sin square x. From the second term, we get that will be plus, rest will be same. We get a square sine square x plus 2 ab sine x cos x plus b square cos square x, correct? Now these terms 2 ab sine x cos x cancel out. The others can be added, right? a square cos square x plus b square cos square x, correct? So, so we have these common terms, b square sine square x and we have a square sine square x. So, so we can combine these terms and then write down that we have, if I take a square common, if I take a square common, I get what? I get cos square x plus sine square x and if I take b square common, I get sine square x plus cos square x. Now sine square x plus cos square x is 1 and therefore we could write this as a square plus b square, correct? So in a way we have shown that a cos x minus b sine square x plus this is a square plus b square, right? However, we know that a cos x minus b sin x is c. So I could replace all this by c, right? So I could replace all this by c. So we have c square plus this term, which we want to find, is equals to a square plus b square. You get an idea. So I'll write now here c square plus a times sin x plus b cos x whole square is equals to a square plus b square. Now we know what this is. So we can rearrange. So we get this term as equal to, and then this is square, so we can square root. So we know a sin x plus b cos x whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus c square. And then of course, to find this term, we'll square root both sides. So the correct answer is square root of a square plus b square minus c square, which is option A for us. Perfect. So that is how you can actually uh, find the solution. It's kind of tricky. Uh, the method shown here is very important to understand. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. We'll have a few more questions like this which will give you good practice to solve similar questions in competitive exams. Thank you and all the best.